Hi everyone, let's begin chi-square test of independence using Excel. Here is chi-square test where we have two independent variables. We just want to check whether there is any association between them. There is a two categorical variables I have taken. So first of all, let me explain you what do you mean by chi-square test of independence. The chi-square test of independence is used to test the hypothesis that two categorical variables are independent of each other. The procedure involves comparing the observed cell frequencies with the expected cell frequencies and observed cell frequencies are the actual number of the cases falling in different cells of contingency table and expected frequencies are the number of cases that should fall in each cell if there is no relationship between the two categorical variables. And I will tell you how you are going to calculate degree of freedom also and uh, where uh, that would be the condition when you are going to accept or reject null hypothesis. So let me start. There is a one simple example I have taken in my uh, this uh, calculation. Here is the classification of the 100 workers according to gender and nature of work. So we just want to test whether nature of work is independent of the gender of the worker. So I had created this table. This is the problem, right? Males, uh, 40 males are skilled and 40, 20 males are unskilled. Females, 10 females are skilled and 30 are unskilled. So I just want to show you how we have to calculate in Excel. I had prepared this data, but I will show you how you're going to calculate each and everything is here. Here is now. I'm just uh, restarting this. Here is the 40 males and 20. So what we have to do, we will first of all sum up all these. Simply I will put plus sign and I will select this cell. Then I would press enter. So total number of males are 60. Now you can see. And same formula, I will just write down. So that would be 10 plus 30 is 40. I just want to take sum of both these values. So simply I will do it sum. And uh, after this sum, simply I'm going to select both these cells. And I will then, this, this is number is the 100. Same thing you are going to apply here, right? I'm just deleting both these things. These are the 40 and 10. So otherwise, what you can do, you can drag down also. Otherwise, same thing you are going to apply, sum. And you have to select both these cells and press enter, right? And after that, what you can do, you can just simply drag this. So this would be, formula would be applicable here also. So now we can see 50 male and female, sum of 40 and 10. This is the sum of this column and this is the sum of the row. What hypothesis I had created, I have already written here, hypothesis that there is no association between nature of work and the gender of all these two variables. I had already shown you in this P in the, in the slide. After that, what we have to do, first of all, I am going to calculate expected frequency table. How we have to calculate expected frequency table? This is the formula of expected frequency table. I'm just expected. This is actually observed expected frequency table. Frequency expected frequency frequency right and after that this one is i would just like to insert this here is observe this is the observed frequency observed frequency frequency this is the observed frequency and this one is the expected frequency so how we are going to calculate expected frequency what we have to do a a means this is the sum of column, sum of column, sum of column and sum of row multiplied by sum of row divided by n, divided by total number. n means I am just noting down here total number, total number. 
So this is the total number. So what we have to do, simply I'm going to apply formula here. I, I just want to show you how you're going to calculate. Equal sign, sum of column. Sum of column means, is I'm just deleting all those things. I don't want to take it anything here, right? I'm just deleting each and every value. As fresh, you can learn how we are going to calculate these values. So simply I will put this and A. A means here is sum of column. So I had selected this. Then after that, multiply it by sum of row. And after that, divide it by total number of total number. So simply I will press enter. So now expected frequency is 30. Expected frequency is 30. Same thing, what I will do, female, right? Simply same thing, I would follow this. Here is total sum of column is, you can see here, sum of column is this and sum of multiplied by sum of row is 40 and divided by the same thing and after that this is 20 and now we will sum we will sum both these numbers so simply i'm going to use sum and uh, here is i'm going to select both these cells and this is the 50 is the number this is the one way another way what we can do if you don't want to apply again and again this formula at the only in the once first cell you are going to apply this formula after that what you can do total would be c because simply i am writing is total 60 and 40 that is already given right and sum of this total is 100 so what i will do here is i just want to know expected number of this column so what i will do equal sign this number minus this number so whatever is the left out, that would be unskilled number. That would be unskilled number. So that means 30 is the unskilled male num expected frequency. Same thing I can apply here. Equal sign this number minus this number. So simply I will press enter. So now the 20 and here is this is the expected. Right. And here is I'm going to apply equal sign sum again sum and after that what i will do i would select both these cells and this is the number so unskilled and skilled this is the number now what i will do simply i am going to apply chi square test formula observed frequency in this column we can see here observed frequency right 40 10 20 30 expected frequency you can see here in this in the, in the in the next column this is the expected frequency 30 20 30 20 right then i am going to apply this formula o observed minus expected frequency observed minus expected frequency is is the o minus e whole square so simply 40 minus 30 right and the whole square of this 100 same is 10 minus 20, whole square of this. And after that, what I did, O chi square test formula is, I had already written here. Here is the chi square formula. O minus E, whole square of this divided by E expected number. So 100 divided by 30, that means 3.33. Right, I will show you how I have applied this. Simply what you can do, equal sign this divided by this number so enter so this is the number and uh, just let me number of decimal should be less and simply i will what i will do it i am just drag this formula here right so all these numbers would be here and this is the formula summation of O minus E whole square divided by E. So simply what I will do here, you can see I'm just showing you sum. Simply you will write sum equal sign sum. And here is the sum means all these values only. And after that you can press enter. So same value 16.67. How I have got this. So this is my calculated value calculated value up now we would like to find out p value 
right p value of this p value how i have to calculate is chi square is value is you can see here i am just applying this chi square value i am just calculating this this is i don't think so 16.3 no uh i'm just going to cal take it this value chi square value and uh, this chi square value i had already calculated that is 16.67 and degree of freedom how i have calculated degree of freedom i can show you on this slide this is my expected table you can see here simply i had applied this formula and after that you can see here chi square test value is 16.67 Degree of freedom I had calculated R minus 1, C minus 1, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, right? So, that means row, 2 rows, C stands for column. So, row minus 1, 2 and column minus 1, that would be multiplied and that answer is 1. So, degree of freedom 1, chi square test 0 0.05, that is 3.84. So, first of all, I am going to calculate how you are going to calculate this chi square test value right in excel if the calculated value of chi square test is much greater than table value hence the result of the experiment does not support the hypothesis nature of work does not seem to independent of the gender of the worker so let me calculate all these values first of all you understand how i am going to calculate p value i am just removing this simply i will put equal sign then i will write chi and here is you can see here chi test chi test right i am just pressing this so you can see actual range and expected range so let me select actual range and expected range we are not selecting total only this is my actual range right this is my actual range and i had selected and comma then after that i am going to select this is my expected range this is my expected range and simply i will close this bracket then this is my value and it's very less because if the p value is greater than 0 0.05 then only your null hypothesis would be accepted or we can say null hypothesis we have failed to reject null hypothesis but this value it is less than 0 0.05 so here is what will happen alternate hypothesis would be accepted null hypothesis will be rejected and in the another way, how we are going to calculate this, we can see here. Now, what I will do, I just want to know chi square right value. So, simply I will write here chi and you can say distribution. This one is the chi square value. That is the value. Summation of all these value, right? And uh, I had already taken this summation of this. Right, so this is my chi square value. No, it's not taking. So simply I'll just copy this 16.67. What is this? Not this, sorry. This one is the chi. Uh, chi square distribution. Right, and here is the x and degree. Of, sorry. This is my number is defined here 16.67, 16.67 and what I will do, I just want to check whether the p value is same. So, simply I am going to use chi equal to sign chi distribution rt, right and after that this is the showing x value, this and comma degree of freedom. And at this value, simply I am going to press enter. So, you can see this value and another way of this, how I had calculated both the values are same. And in this case, what will happen? Hypothesis that there is no association between nature of work and the gender of the work that is rejected. So, this null hypothesis we are going to reject. Reject and alternate hypothesis that is accepted. Alternate hypothesis that is accepted. Alternate hypothesis accepted. Hypothesis is accepted. Why it is accepted? I am sure this thing is clear to you because P value that is less than 0 0.05 and it is reflecting here. That is why we are accepting this part. And uh, we are rejecting this 
this is we are we have rejected why we have rejected this again the p value is the less than 0 0.05 so i'm sure i hope this video will be helpful to you how you're going to calculate chi squared test using this excel thank you stay tuned keep watching